local female rapper Tanda God. She dropped an album about killing her boyfriend. This ain't the album cover, right? X Woodpack? <laughs> that's the that's the thing, like dead ass nigga, like you're dead. Like dead that's dead as fuck. Dead. Are we talking about like literally? An East Bay rapper killed over the weekend and her friends say she was shot. <laughs> female rapper from Oakland, California, killed her own boyfriend and got away with it, then bragged about killing him. But when his people came back to kill her, the whole thing got caught on camera. This female rapper by the name of Tanda God was in an abusive relationship with her boyfriend, and after a brutal argument, she pulled out a gun and shot her boyfriend point blank, taking his life. But what started out as self-defense took a turn for the worse, because she didn't just kill her boyfriend, she then attempted to capitalize off the situation by disrespecting the dead and clout chasing her ex's death as a means of further her rap career. She even dropped the album cover of her ex-boyfriend Photoshop as a blunt and dropped the music video saying she's smoking on her ex. You've been sentenced to seven years for smoking on your ex and having these bitches to her But it didn't stop there. Unfortunately, Tanda God would go on to do press runs get extra disrespectful and even brought out a tombstone to represent her dead ex-boyfriend in rap interviews. Ew. Yeah, welcome. How you feeling? Y'all yeah, feeling great. Like, just had a court date and whatnot. Like, shit was kind of cool. They said I beat the case. Oh, or for real? And with a briefcase, it was a briefcase. You feel me? Like, this has been a highly anticipated court date, you know, on social media. People are like, we got to check back in on this on the 23rd. Exactly. You feel me? And luckily, I was able to do it virtually. You feel me? And if they, if they said I didn't beat the case, I would have been like, take K. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Did the race. You know what I'm saying? So. Bruh, self-defense is one thing. But going as far as dissing the dead boyfriend, knowing he still got family, friends, and loved ones out here that's mourning his death is just not a good idea. But she still wouldn't stop and went on to do more interviews, pretty much laughing at the ex and all his people. Boy, oh, so oh, it's all good, play it. Like, yeah, I respect it. Business um, calls. Uh, is there anything you want to promote before we sign off? Yeah, uh, this, this, this new tape. That's about to drop called X Woodpack smoking on my motherfucking ex. That, bro, I'm choking uh, right now off this nigga. Hold on. So, that is like the craziest shit I've ever heard. Sounds like everything you make has relatability to your life or some relevance. Are we, are we supposed to talk about this? <laughs> is this like some of the conversation we're supposed to be having? Okay, what the hell happened? Like, what is that? Like, why? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that means if I break it down that you smoked your ex, which means that he doesn't exist right now. Long as a bitch got legs, I stand on everything I said. I be smoking on my ex. That relationship is dead. Mm. I don't never feel the shade, but I see bitches got a shed. I ain't worried about my ex. I put that pussy on his head. That's the thing. <laughs> that's the that's the thing. Like dead ass nigga. Like you're dead. Like. Dead, that shit dead as fuck. Dead. Are we talking about like literally? Or are we talking figuratively? I don't know what the hell's going on right now. <laughs> are we, are we, are, uh, <clears throat> Lord did tell me not to talk about it. Okay, you shouldn't talk about things like that. No, but but she would later offer an explanation as to why she didn't feel no type of remorse over what happened and why she felt justified in what she was doing. Was it like an abusive relationship or something? Did it get to the point where like you had no choice? Yeah, it's like, you ain't got no choice. Like, sometimes you really don't have a choice. Like, I know females that never had a choice. And they was just, dude, popping up and threatening the whole family. And, you know, and you, you know where people live. And I think about it, I'm like, you know where my loved ones live? You got to go. <laughs> you you got to go Especially if you got The audacity to threaten them What? You threatening my people? Everybody gonna die Oh, is we? <laughs> I'm gonna show you What it bees like <laughs> That's the trippy part I always see Like <clears throat> If somebody attempts Has an attempt on your life One time But you love that person It's yeah. like You never you know when, When's the next time It could happen You always like I always trip out about that You Even gotta get them Or they gonna get you but unfortunately, 
her actions finally caught up to her. And at 5 p.m. on July 13th, while celebrating the grand opening of her business called Glamour Beauty Supply, while everyone was celebrating her success, a shooter walked up to the store and opened fire. An East Bay rapper killed over the weekend, and her friends say she was shot while attending an event at a beauty shop in Oakland. They confirmed to Cron 4 she was shot and killed at a grand opening event for the beauty store Saturday. Tan posted on Instagram just before the shooting. Here, I got granny in a cut, no play with it. She also promoted the event a week before, saying she would be at Glamour Beauty for a meet and greet. Shots rang out at the strip mall on 40th Street and Telegraph Avenue around 5 p.m. People ran into this donut shop to take cover. I heard some shooting. I thought it was part of like their music. Or A man who works there who does not want to be identified described the chaotic scene. I just saw like two or three people start running into my store and like, you know, they're shooting, they're shooting. <laughs> This is a sad ending to a situation that could have been avoided. Many women like Tanda God find themselves in abusive relationships where they may have had to save their own lives and kill their abuser in self-defense. But fam, it goes too far when a person is constantly and continually taunting and laughing and rubbing the death of a loved one in people's faces. I wish that this young woman could have took her second chance at life and let go of the past and do great things as a young business owner with her new beauty supply store. That was a major accomplishment right there. But unfortunately, her success was cut short by a senseless cycle of violence. My prayers, condolences, and respect goes out to the families. And as I always say, be vigilant, be safe, be watchful, because people out here is not playing fair. Straight up.